It's your boy girl up here back with another video. And today. I got special video guys, man. Today we're gonna be talking about I think I, I think I'm gonna do the uh, last one on this, on the honest review type of thing. I know I think on the what's the name on the uh, the co-op one, which is a trash game mode. I think I said that was gonna be the last one, but when I was just looking at the game, I was like, well, I could talk about Torment of Power, right? Because it is a new game mode that we just got. I think what it's been like two months, right? Because it came out like early, no, late March. So it's basically about to hit two months. So I feel like oh, uh, we have basically what four, through we did we've been through three seasons, and then we're basically on our fourth season right now. It's about to end real soon in a couple of days. It's about to end. So I kind of want to just give my thoughts on that. And yeah, let's just, you know, I just want to share everything you guys can comment out, what you guys think about the Tony Rep Power and all that stuff. And I kind of, this is kind of like a mixed reaction on the Tournament of Power. So I kind of just want to give my thoughts on it and everything. So without further ado, let's let's just talk. So the Tournament of Power, I kind of like it. I actually kind of like it. But there is definitely some things that I just, I don't like it. I don't like as well. So I like the fact that it doesn't take that much time right um like say for example for pvp you got to rank in a top 10k to get you know the uh th as much cc as possible it takes a lot of time to grind pvp you know there's times where you're facing stack teams you're facing against dc you're facing against lag switchers you're facing against all these type of just nonsense in, in pvp it takes a lot of time for you to rank high and a lot of like just a lot of time just to to rank in the high ranks and if you want to be in the top 100 top 1000 it takes a lot more a lot more hours to grind right so i kind of like about tournament power is it's not another game where it takes a ton of time for you to do um i like how it's just like you just kind of just play you, you get like two energy a day and you can just kind of you can kind of uh what's the name you can kind of strategize there's some strategy into it you can plan how you want to like what route you want to take to get as much points as possible how like reading the enemies tournament of powers the abilities i kind of like that stuff i like that stuff and I don't, it doesn't take that much time it's not like where i have to play this four hours a day just to be in the top rank it kind of just about how you plan and what and, and like the route you want to take like do you want to go get the highest fist so you can get the most points but if you do that you most likely could die and you can get reset and lose your consecutive streaks or you want to play it safe and go for the green uh what's the name you know the green uh heels so you can just survive as long as possible or if the the team that you're rocking now isn't really the best you can go here and change it up so there, there's some pros and cons for different routes you like you take right so me i kind of I just been thugging it out, right? I just been going straight for the highest ones because that's pretty much the easiest thing to do, especially with the team that I have. It, you can basically just heal a ton. You can heal a ton. I can show you guys a team right now, honestly. Uh, let me let's click switch out. Um, this is the team I've been rocking. I've been rocking this team for the every single season. This team has been, you know, killing it, right? So I can show you guys my rank and everything. Kind of getting a little bit off topic, but. Um, I'm, 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 I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back. So, all right. So, the, I think we should be, like, top 100 maybe. I don't know. Top 200, judging by this rank one guy. We're not that far behind from him. So, let's just check our rank. Tell us take a long time for it to load and everything. So, and we got an error. Nice. Okay. Please just load. All right. So, I'm top, top, top 500, top 300 right here. 262, which is really good. But, yeah. So, the thing, yeah, like I said about the tournament power, I like how it, you don't have to take a lot of time into it. You get two energy a day, pretty much just playing out and everything, and then you just do your two, two things and you're done, right? It's kind of another PVE mode, so I'm not really the biggest fan of it because I like to play against other players, right? I don't like playing against bots. I told you guys this in the co-op thing. I don't really like PVE content that much. I don't like playing against bots because I feel like it's either too hard or too easy. They can't really find a middle ground into it. So when the mo when the mode came out, I wasn't really the biggest fan because it was PVE content. But I kind of like once it said like you can strategize and form your own team to take different routes. It kind of got me intrigued, and I'm st and I still like it. The only biggest problem I have with the uh, mode, and I remember I made a video about this when it when the first preseason came out. And they still kind of have it. And it's this. This right here, I feel like, is um, the biggest problem with the mode. 
boost characters, right? Like, say, for example, someone mains a team that doesn't give you the high battle score points, right? Because certain units right here give you the, give you more battle score points, right? And you want to get as much points as possible for you to rank the highest because if you rank in the top, I think I think this is top 6K for you to get 1,000 CC compared to PV where it's top 10K. If you want to get as much reward as possible, you have to have the highest score, right? And these units right here is going to help you get more points each round, and that actually adds up over time, right? But say someone mains a team that doesn't give you the highest amount of battle score for that season, that, that kind of sucks, right? Like, it kind of rules the fact that you have to basically be somewhat of aware where you can have a ton of teams to use because there's sometimes they kind of do change the the units that are in about that's in like the four percent and then the three percent and stuff like that but if someone is like say a free to play and they main one team say they main uh god key or robber universe and they check and most of their units are not really giving you the highest points they're kind of already screwed right there because no matter how good they do it they're not getting as much percentage points for them to rank in the high rank. And that could be the reason why they don't rank to the top 6K and they might rank, you know, top 12K or something like that. So I kind of wish that they took this out. It kind of ruins the, the fact, like just the fun of you building your own team and dominating, right? Because there's actually some type of meta involved with this, which kind of sucks because, um, you know, like you can't just rock like a, a fun team or like a really good team that actually has great synergy, but since some since some units doesn't give you as much points it's hard for you to use that certain unit like there might be a unit in here that has a really great total of power ability with someone but the fact that they might be at one percent you're not gonna want to use them because you know he's not gonna give you the highest points so i feel like they need to take this out uh, i remember i remember prof was talking about it in his stream where um, there was one point where the high Saiyan wasn't getting as much points and like that's the team that he uses the most right so when he saw that it was hard for him to rank really high in the mode because his team wasn't really getting that much battle score points right so I, I think they should really take this out because um I really feel like it should be more about strategy than compared to all oh, the boost units right but like I said like they they kind of want you know to somewhat monetize tournament power in a sense where Say you might have the latest unit. The latest units are going to most likely get the highest, going to give you the highest battle score, which is kind of ruins the fun out of it. I feel, I really feel like this is to be a, a chance with really who actually is like the more strategic out of it. It's not all about your your star accounts because they still have that where um, this is not like every one of your units is fourteen stars. It's based off your box, right? But they actually giving them, you know, like I feel like this should have been more fair, like. Someone that's actually more strategic than someone actually having just the right units for the battle score, right? I, I feel like that kind of sucks for someone that actually knows how to really manipulate and know actually know how to play the game mode and get as much points as possible and defeat the boss as fast as possible. But it's because of their score that you're not going to really see them in the top, the top place, which kind of sucks. So I think this boost thing is, I think they should take it out in my opinion, like, I don't know. I'm not really the biggest fan of it because there might be a time where like all my region units are not like are not at battle score four percent or three percent, right? And it might be in tier four. And I actually gonna I'm gonna have a that's gonna really make me mad because like that's pretty much the team that I can that I rock the most on on this on this uh in this tournament power mode. So that's pretty much my biggest take on it is the battle score. Um another thing, I mean I don't really I really don't have a another big problem with it i guess um i don't know i do like the ranking thing where like depending on your score you can get promoted to the next level i really like that i really like in like since i'm on s level like i'm facing against harder bosses and everything which is pretty dope i just got to see here we're, we're finally getting into like the the five fist thing so it's pretty much look like i'm in like I think I might be in the highest tier right now. I don't know. Next season, there's going to be a Z and then or they're going to be a Z plus similar to like how the equipments are like B. I think it go. I think it went B, A, S. Um, no, I think it was C. I think it started off at C. I think it was like C, B, A, S. So I wonder if next season is going to be Z and then after that, it's going to be Z plus. We might see some crazy bosses. That, that actually might be a little bit interesting for me to, um, to do and everything. So that's actually going to be pretty dope. But... I think that's pretty much my biggest takeaway is the battle score thing, the battles, the bonus battle score units. I, I just don't like that. Um, I really feel like you should be able to rock any team you can. And 
it all comes down to how strategized you can actually form like the synergy between your units and that's to be the reason why you're number one not because um you're rocking the the, the, the units that give you the highest bonus points because not everyone's going to have that because not everyone is going to be a will and have every team maxed out for every season so that's pretty much my biggest take um i did like how they changed the thing where if you lose on purpose, you're not going to get as much points. They have they up the consecutive points that you get. So you kind of don't want to lose. You don't want to lose because the consecutive points actually adds up. I remember there was one stage that I did. I honestly don't remember. I could check my battle log. And this is because I've been winning. I hadn't I hadn't lost yet, right? And I got this one at 3 mil. That's because of the, the consecutive wins I got. I hadn't lost any, so it added up. So once I hit this, this win, like... I think this was like my 25th win. I got this huge points right here, this three mil. So I actually like that because at the early, at the the start of tournament power, people you would lose on purpose just to get extra more plans and get more points that way. But it looks like that's not really the case. You don't want to lose. You want to win as much as possible. So that's actually, I really like how they changed it there. I kind of like how they're actually kind of updating this sometimes right i just feel like if they remove the bonus battle score it'll be even a better i feel like it would be a, a better game mode um in terms of the reward the rewards are really solid you get a tons of um get a ton of rare medals you get a decent amount of cc i believe if you beat the last the last boss you get what 250 here and then if we go if we go to the rewards the season details if you rank a certain score, you get 100 CC. That's 350 right there. And if you rank in the top 6K, you get 1,350. So that's actually you're actually gonna you're actually getting more CC than you're getting in the um in the PVP mode when it's right when it's two when it's two weeks right because in two weeks you usually get a thousand while this one gives you 1,350. So this does actually have its uh its edge and everything. It's pretty dope. It's, it's okay. I feel like the game mode is actually pretty. It's pretty solid. I think if I was to give this like a rating out of ten, I think I'll give it like a a seven point five. I think it will, I'll give it at, like a seven point five. I think it's pretty dope. You don't have to take, you don't have to um like I said, invest a lot of time into it. Um, the bonus battle score is the biggest thing that I have. I feel like if they remove that, I feel like I feel like I might put it in at, at an eight point five point ten. If they if they took out the bonus battle score, I do like the fact that you can strategize. You got to pick your route and everything. I really like that stuff. Um, and it kind of sucks. Uh, I honestly don't know if I like if I like seeing the other like the top rankers team because everybody's just gonna copy that team. So what I like for it to do is maybe it shows like this. Maybe it shows just the name of the person that's top rank, and then maybe at the end of the season it shows like the rankings. Then it reveals the team that they use, and you're like, oh, okay. Instead of like people waiting and seeing who's the best who has like what's the best team to run who gives you the most points i feel like they should hide this i feel like they should maybe hide this or something or maybe just show um maybe just show that like the unit up front right here like say for example this guy like it only shows the go tanks but you don't know the other units he's actually rocking he just you might know that all right it could be a fusion that he's rocking it could be hybrids it could be it could be some other team right but then once the the season is in you can re it reveals like all the units he was using so when like say for them when the season ends you check the top rank then you click you can able to click on this and then see the other units you use for that season like oh okay that's actually a pretty dope synergy right so that's pretty much my thing on this um i think those are the two things right i think you should hide you to be able to hide the um the people's teams until the the, the thing is over until the bat um the what's name is over the season is over and then also to remove bonus battle score. I feel like the gamer will be a lot better. I'm actually curious to see what else they're going to do with it because there's something in the news that kind of caught my eye from the tournament power, and it's this. So right here, right here, tournament power one. It says right here, it says this season you can bring up to two backup members. The number of backup members you can bring may change with the season. So this might be pretty interesting. It might be a season where we can have more battle, more battle of uh, backup members, and they might have more stages for us to clear. Or they might have a season where we have no backups. And you have to rock six units, and you have to plan that way because 
that might be a way of you actually going to the green spots and actually healing up. So stuff like that, they can actually kind of spice it up when they do. They can change some of these rules and up, and they're actually going to be. That's going to be interesting to see the meta, right? But I feel like you can't really see different units shine based off the bonus battle scores. So I think that's my biggest gripe on that. Overall, I think it's a solid game mode. I honestly think it is. Some people might not like it, which I can understand. It doesn't take that much time. I just like it. I like the game mode. So let me know what you guys think. I think it can definitely get better. Definitely for sure. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think about the Torment Power game mode. I think it's solid. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know why you hate it, why you like it. And I'm going to chat you guys down there. I think this is going to be the last episode or like the last little mini series of this because I got to do some more content of the things that's coming up for the anniversary. Those six, those six free to play Goku's. I got to make a ton of content on this. So this is probably going to be the last episode or maybe for this little mini series. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, man, that's it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Be my girl, man. And I'm out. Peace.